Carol, do you think that your desire to win is what gets you in trouble? I, I think so. I think, um, like I've told a lot of people, I've, I've grown up and I've, I haven't been always the star, star athlete on my team. I've always been a guy that's always tugging on my high school coach, and he'll tell you, I'm wanting to get in the ball games. I've been on the sidelines or been on the bench where you see guys making the big shot or, or making the long run for a touchdown or catching a long pass for a touchdown. I've always been sort of like in the shadow of, of other star athletes. And that's always been my hunger to be that guy. I prepared myself to fill the shoes of, of a Jerry Rice. Um, I've, I've changed my diet the last two off seasons. Um, I had a personal trainer just to do the necessary things to try to get to a championship. Because I mean, I've seen the clips of, you know, Steve throwing to Jerry, Joe's throwing to Jerry. Jerry was the main focus of the offense. And I kind of patterned myself in such a way that I had to prepare myself in all season to keep myself in shape. Unhappy person because I'm not getting enough balls during the course of the game or during the season. My thing is when it's when it's prime time, give me, give me an opportunity to win. That's that's all I ask. Give me an opportunity. Give me an opportunity to let to help our team win. When I have guys coming to me on the sideline asking me what kind of coverage am I getting or why aren't I getting the ball? You know, you were wide open on this play or wide open on that play. That's what a lot of people say is a dream come true probably just to play the sport that they, their childhood sport growing up to play, whether it's baseball, basketball. That'll probably be my childhood dream to be part of a team that I helped get there to that big show or that big dance. That's all I